recognize each graduate of the class of 1986 so the whole world will fit in turn. It is a world of future dreams and past memories, all of which are to be contained within a crystal bottle that only the beholder can look into and understand. It is tonight when we will recognize the beginning of the fulfillment of our greatest dreams, and also tonight when each of us, in order to enter into a new world, must say farewell to the love and security given to us by our parents and our school. In this new world, each of us will be given many opportunities as we are set free to encounter new experiences. To make our mistakes and to take wrong turns is always to be expected, yet we must not allow these mistakes and our frustrations to destroy our dreams. Instead, we shall hold our heads up high and try, try until we do succeed. We must remember that life is a gift. It's wrapped in a ribbon, woven with dreams, and whether you're young or very old, life is filled with wonder and surprises. Tonight, we celebrate memories of the past, dreams of the future, and of course, the present. First, the past. During our past four years at Burlington High, each of us has seen many changes in society. Within the past year alone, we have witnessed the 80th anniversary of the Great Earthquake and Fire, the 50th birthday of Disneyland, the 75th Space Breakers, and the 63rd birthday of Burlington High. We have seen the coming and going of Howie's Comet, and also, we must not forget that ketchup now comes in a squeezable bottle and toothpaste in a see-through pump. We, the class of 1986, are the first class from Burlington High to graduate after four years at the traditional school. The traditional school has been very good for us in a way which words can never explain. I can remember September of 1982, our first month at Burlington High. We were not allowed to leave campus with our old friends but instead, we're left as one large group forced by our confinement to meet new people. During the past four years, these new people have become the closest of friends, until now, when they are almost my family. This is one more reason for which it will be even more difficult for us to say farewell. The class of 1986 is special. For instance, many of us were among the very first to receive the new California Provisional Driver's Licenses, following which some of us allowed the machine to conquer the human. Yes, we must admit that we did allow our cars to have their whimsical kisses with other cars and trees, causing mom and dad to see gray hairs in the process. But even so, our parents understood that such instances take place for a lack of experience, and they are happy that we can learn from such mistakes so that they won't happen again. Some other instances at Burlingame High also cannot be overlooked. We all remember dissecting fetal pigs and trying not to blow up the chemistry lab, or maybe a few of us remember facing during red asphalt. A few of us showed our citizenship by giving blood for the first time, and many of us took our first SATs on the day of our junior prom. Each of these are memories which are held deeply within our hearts, and which and which we thank Burlingame High for very much. But now, we must look into the future. The future will be what we make of it. Today, we have our dreams which we pray to fulfill. Each of us wants fame, or fortune, or happiness, or probably all of the above. Well, at all costs, it costs a great deal of time, patience, and effort. And now is where we start paying. No one can possibly know what to expect on our 15-year reunion in the Space Odyssey year of 2001. Perhaps some of us will have to return to Burlingame from our homes in Mars. Within this class, there may be a future Nobel Prize laureate or a future teacher in space. Within this class, there may lie a cure for AIDS, and we, and we must never forget to dream. No dreams are impossible if we try hard enough to achieve them. And the only failure is the failure to try. We must believe that one of us will find the cure for cancer. One of us will lead the cause for world peace. One of us women will be president of the United States. And one of us may... 
and one of us may even organize hands across the solar system. <laughs> Anything is possible. Yes, there are many, many possibilities. And it is not until we think of these possibilities that we can master them. And now, the present. Tonight, each of us is a star. Tonight, each of us holds center spotlight, our moment of recognition. But after tonight, this evening will also be added to our crystal bottle as a cherished memory. Yet, tonight is a time of happiness and sadness. Happiness because we celebrate our achieved goals and prospects for the future, and sadness because it is difficult to let go of this security which has always supported us when we made mistakes. But tonight, we must forget these mistakes, and we must dream. We must dream the impossible dream. Just think of the possibility. Thank you. Class of 86, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Joseph Castelli, President of the San Pedro Union High School District Board of Trustees, and this time acknowledge Mr. Castelli's special interest in Burlingame High School during his long tenure on the board. He currently serves as president as a former Burlingame High School parent, in fact, as a parent of a former Burlingame High School student body president. Mr. Castelli, I guess there's no prouder moment for a high school principal than to present his class to you and recommend them for graduation. And I do feel about this class, particularly the class of 86, perhaps that it is my class. They're the first class I've had the privilege of working with for their entire four years at the high school, the first class to go through the traditional school program. It's customary for classes to give gifts to the school as they depart, sometimes the form of a clock or a memento or a bench. This class gave us a lot more through their extraordinary achievement on the California assessment program tests, they were able to give Burlingame High School a cash award of $48,000, one of the largest in the state. <laughs> which will be put to use at Burlingame High School thanks to class of 86. Most of the students on the stage intend to pursue their education I'd like you to know of some of the universities that have accepted graduates of this class. They include Boston, Brown, Brigham Young, Gonzaga, Indiana University, Kansas State, Lewis and Clark, Northwestern, New York University, Oregon State, Scripps, Stanford, University of Arizona, University of Oregon, UOP, University of Santa Clara, University of Southern California, USF, University of British Columbia, University of Colorado, University of San Diego, University of Utah, Westmont, Whitman, Williamette, and Yale. All, <laughs> students will be attending all campuses of the University of California with Berkeley, Davis, and Santa Barbara being their first choices, as well as all the university campuses of the California State University. I'd like to also inform you that the members of this class on stage tonight have earned college and university scholarships, grants, and awards valued at a cash value of one, over $160,000. Beyond that, I have many friends on stage, some that I know better than others, some I know better because of leadership roles they've played on the campus. Some I know better because I've monitored each and every credit earned and grade completed. Whatever, I'm proud of all of them. Uh, Mr. DiVincenzi mentioned, as did Michelle, the special talents of this class. I've told you some of the things they've given to the school to contribute a whole lot in terms of spirit. The spirit and enthusiasm of this school has grown tremendously over the four years. Now, our improvements in clubs and organizations on the athletic field in the classroom are directly proportional to the leadership that the class of 86 has provided. They are genuine givers, perhaps as a group of 17 and 18 year old young people, some of the most genuine givers that I've ever met. 
They have mastered academic, artistic, and athletic skills, and they have also mastered the art of giving. They've all heard the admonishments and the adages, it's better to give than receive, and give and ye shall receive, but I think these members of the class really understand that. And class, continue that. There is a true joy in giving. Continue to share your many talents, your ideas, your time, and your energy with other people, for you are unique. You've given much to your school and community. You've been a source of pride to your family and friends, and that pride itself is a gift, and we thank you for that. Continue to give, and Mr. Castelli, I'm pleased to present you the extraordinary class of 1986.